This saw is the O20, and I purchased this saw in 1992, and I got it uh, brand new. And uh, when I got out of school, I worked at a nursery for a year where they, they were a, a tree service, and then they kind of went into the nursery business. And I was talking to somebody there, and they, uh, they told me how this was, you know, the saw it was lightweight and powerful. Uh, so this is the saw I went out and bought. And I gotta say, it was everything, uh, everything, it, it lived up to the expectations. Uh, the one thing is when I bought this saw, I did not realize that they made a version of it with the handle in the back, you know, and, and knowing what I know now, I, I'm not sure I would have got the top handle version. It's funny, I, I kick myself for having the top handle version because it's really not designed to be a ground saw, it's designed to be a, a saw for use in the tree. Uh, but I gotta say that that top handle is really nice. Um, I, I use it occasionally for cutting branches off of trees. Um, I don't anymore in the state of Connecticut. The arborists made, um, you have to be a licensed arborist to prune a tree and I am not a licensed arborist so I, I don't anymore. But before the arborists had that law passed, you could go to somebody else's house and cut a branch off a tree and you can still cut a branch off a tree at your own house. Um, and that saw was very handy, uh, you know, for, for cutting branches off trees. But the other uh, nice thing with that saw is if you fell a tree, it's so lightweight and the, the top handle makes it so nimble that it's, it's very nice to, um, to limb up, you know, to, to, to limb trees up. And it's just a nice saw for basically, I mean, it's a 16 inch bar on that saw and with a 16 inch bar buried, it keeps moving. But if you're cutting a lot of stuff below 8, 10 inches, it's an awesome little saw, very lightweight. Um, the only work I've ever had done on this saw was maybe around 2000. I got it in 92, so 2000, 2005. It was starting to run rough, so I took it to the dealer, and I'm pretty sure they had to rebuild the carburetor. Otherwise, this is the original bar I got on the saw. Um, you know, I haven't had to replace any of the shrouds. The handle, you know, for, for whatever reason, the handle broke off. I put a piece of tape on it, and I still can't figure out how you would get this handle off. I guess you would, uh, I guess you'd take the screw off, but I, uh, you know, it was annoying for the longest time because this little piece of plastic was loose. So eventually I took a piece of tape and put it around, and it's a non-factor now. But, uh, you know, I've done nothing to this saw. The only other issue I have is sometimes this muffler, uh, it vibrates loose. So I have to tighten it down again and, and realign the internal components of the muffler. But uh, she's running really good. And the chain I'm using on this saw is, um, I'm probably not going to zoom in on that very well. This is Oregon 91 VXL chain. So it's, a, it's not full chisel, it's got a rounded corner on it. But the nice thing is the cutters come really long, so you get a lot of sharpenings out of it. And, uh, you know, I love the power of the saw. It's a low profile chain, the 91 VXL. And I like the low profile chain because it's almost like a narrow kerf chain. So it's really nice that um, even though the saw isn't as big as the other saws, because it's got a narrower curve, it needs less power to cut. And if I was going to buy a, a saw these days, it would be one of two saws. It would either be a steel 241, I believe it is, which is the maximum CCs you could have in a 91 for a 91 VXL chain. Uh, the 241 is a rear handle saw, so the saw would have a little bit more power than this with the rear handle, and it's also, I think it's lighter than this saw too. Uh, so the power to weight ratio would just be amazing. This 91 VXL, because it's a, it's a semi-chisel chain, it's incredibly easy to sharpen. And I think the ideal setup for, for trees under, I don't know, 18, 20 inches would be the 241. Again, it depends on how productive you're trying to be. Uh, the 241 just seems like a really nice lightweight saw. But uh, 91 VXL it is not a safety chain. There's no safety bumpers on here. But um, I really, I really like 91 VXL chain. It's very, it's very reasonably priced too. So here's the. Uh, 
Here's the O20. Awesome saw. You know, and I'm going to keep using this saw until they don't make parts for it anymore.